Hey everybody, it's Rich. How are you doing today? So first of all, I want to say that I'm absolutely loving the new studio that I've created here to uh, film my videos. In my old house, I had a great room with my bookcase and I filmed a lot of videos there and I was a little concerned when I moved that I wouldn't be able to recreate something as cool. But as you can see from the view behind me, I think I've actually upgraded my little setting here. So just want to point that out. So here's what I want to talk about today. This morning, I got up as usual and went on my morning run. And what's interesting, is, and you can probably see a couple of the houses behind me, uh, the homes behind me are basically the nicest homes in Laguna Beach. And these homes are literally like 10, 15, maybe even more than that, million dollars in value right on the ocean. It doesn't get much better than that. So what's interesting is I ran out this morning and I saw a couple of my neighbors and just chatted real quick as I started my run. And then I ran down to Main Beach, which is like a half a mile from here. And typically in the morning you'll see some homeless people like sleeping on park benches and laying in the beach and whatnot. And it just like struck me of the amazing contrast that's occurring right here in Laguna Beach. You've got people living in $15 million homes and then you've got people basically homeless living uh, on the beach. And it just made me think of the contrast that we all experience in life. And what's interesting as human beings is we live in a world of contrast. And all too often I see people whining and complaining about the contrast of their lives. And what I always try to encourage people to do is the opposite. Instead of whining and complaining, learn to love the contrast. We all have contrast. I have plenty of contrast in my life, believe me. And it's very easy. Our brain wants to complain about it, bitch about it. And what I want you to do is the opposite. Learn to love the contrast. Because here's the way it works. Out of contrast, desire is born. You're in a situation, there's contrast, you create a new desire. Could be the desire to get in a better relationship. Could be a desire to be healthier. Could be to get a new job. It could be for whatever of a thousand different reasons. And typically, that contrast creates a desire and that desire will lead to great change in our lives and typically that change is the juice of life it's the stuff that we truly want if we didn't have that contrast we would just sit around and pretty much do nothing all day and life wouldn't be that exciting so the question I have for you is are you loving the contrast of your life or like most people are you bitching and complaining about it the goal obviously is to love the contrast it reminds me of my uh, personal trainer when I live back in Key West. I've talked about him before. His name is Mark. And Mark used to live, actually, uh, this was in Florida, but he used to live right up the coast here in L.A. And he would tell me, and I never quite understood it until now, but he would tell me that he would go out on a Saturday night in downtown L.A. He would get all dressed up, and he would go like to a penthouse at the top of a high building and go to some fancy party with all of the movie stars and all these crazy people in L.A., they were all living this hoity-toity lifestyle, and he'd go hang out with them, and then he would literally leave that party, take off his fancy clothes, put on just jeans and a white t-shirt, and he'd literally go hang out with the bums on the street. And I remember when he told me this, I was like, why, why are you doing this? Like, he would literally go in the same evening, go from way up here to way down there, and now I get it. He understood the importance of the contrast of the light and the dark, of the up and the down, and uh, this is what we all experience in life. And he he's a true master at learning to love the contrast of life. So that's it for today. Again, the question is, we've all got contrast. Are you learning to love the contrast? I'll talk to you soon. Have a great day. Bye.